So, what are we facing today? We're facing the battle between the light and the dark. Simply put, we have front row center seats. These are our eyes and our senses. And uh, when we look up into the sky, the battle plays before us. And some of us know what it is, and some of us don't know what it is. <coughs> I learned that there are unseen energies and seen energies among, amongst us right now in our environment. And it's influencing us in some way. These energies are, are doing more than simply controlling our emotions, or excuse me, influencing our emotions, influencing our thoughts, and most certainly influencing our weather. It's gotten very extreme right now. And one of the reasons why the battle is so extreme is because good people remain silent. They think someone like me is going to help solve it for them. And uh, that is not what is happening. What is happening is I'm simply a messenger. I'm a messenger of other messengers. And the messages trickle down. The messages are telling us that we're experiencing right now a profound shift in consciousness. Because I had a retirement fund <laughs> for a while, it ran out, but I was able to study the world to great depth. I would read sentences that were so full of truth that my head would hurt, and I would have to close the book and put it away. At the same time, I was a, I'm a voracious learner, and I love to figure things out. I love to know. When you come from a place of knowing, then you come from a place of creating. And I want to know. I want to know that we weren't plopped here on this planet just to be played with, like slaves. I want to know that we're in control of our destiny and what we experience is a combination of choice and circumstance. I want to know that uh, there are other people out there who want to figure out what the universe is all about. And so, uh, I believe the awakening is happening, and I feel it from the heart, more than I see it all too often in front of my eyes. I know that people want to live a better way. I feel that, and I feel that they don't know how. I feel that they don't feel powerful <coughs> enough, and that uh, it's more comfortable to let other people make choices for you. So here we are, we are essentially, our history goes back 12,000 years from the beginning of this last age. And every single generation 
who has come before us has left litter to be picked up by the next generation. And then that generation takes the lit their, that litter and their own litter and leaves it for the next generation. And so on, and so on, and so on, and so on. The litter is stored in our environment and the litter is stored in our DNA. And as the litter became so cumbersome to our DNA that our multi-stranded DNA started to restrand itself to where it is, where it has been until recently, double-stranded. And this is, the double-stranded DNA is the most simplest life form that a human, humanoid, can have. And so, uh, if you're watching the alternative news, you'll start to see the entire universe is changing before our eyes. You'll start to see the UFOs that are in our sky. And if you want to see a UFO, you know, take the example of uh, those who came before us and uh, put your thoughts out to the universe and uh, have a collaboration. If you need confirmation that we're not alone, <coughs> then uh, there is so much confirmation available, I wouldn't even know where to suggest to start, you know? Because it's everywhere. And uh, as what has been previously said, is that we can selectively choose what is real to us. And we can selectively choose to ignore what wants to be real for us. So I believe, based on uh, my research, my own writings, the channeled messages, the proof before my eyes, and much of information that other messengers bring to me that we are on the edge of an incredible shift. And, the, and yet at the same time, the battle of the light and dark engages and vies to take as many souls into the dark and to keep them there, compressed and contained. Why are they doing that? Why? Because this isn't a planet just for humans. This, until very recently, and still is in its last days of being a slave planet. This isn't a planet where you came to come on a holiday. This isn't a planet where your destiny is to be comfortable in this planetary concentration camp. Our destiny is to experience the victory of the light and to be part of that victory. We're so comfortable being passive people who are watching the world before us like a, like a tennis match with their heads going from side to side, watching each side play their role. And it's come to 2011, here we are, 
and something big, 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 is at our doorstep. And it's so big that even if you went into your bedroom, went into your bed, put all the sheets over your head, shut off the lights, closed the windows, and covered yourself, you still couldn't escape it. Because that's not the point. The point is, you wouldn't even be on this planet if you weren't a brave soul. The point is, you wouldn't be on this planet if you didn't have some inner work to do on yourself. The point is, you wouldn't be here on the planet if you didn't have some sort of a special, some sort of a specialized role to be part of the solution of, for the light. And you wouldn't be here on this planet if you hadn't prepared in a few or several lifetimes to be able to handle the intense energies here that we're experiencing right now.